idea. And I listen, I give the White House a lot of crap. I give the White House a crap ton of crap all the time. But they did a good thing. They did a good thing recently. So I don't know if you guys heard about this headline. Uh, it's written by this girl. Uh, it was written by this woman by the name of Taylor Lorenz. She's a New York Times reporter. And she reported that the TikTokers, influencers, were getting briefed on Russia and Ukraine because the White House started to notice the amount of information or started to notice the amount of people that were listening to their information. And so me, knowing full well how much media and journalism is changing and it's becoming gatekept, we're a big fan of this. So Mr. Robinette Biden, Mr. Joseph Robinette Biden and his staff, for the first time in their administration, made a move that actually makes sense. Okay, but before y'all freak out, because there's going to be a lot of people in here that are like, Anuj, why does the D'Amelio family need to be there? Why do any lifestyle creators who have multiple millions of followers need to be in this briefing about Russia and Ukraine? It doesn't make sense. Why? Okay, stop. Stop just reporting because you're a TikToker yourself. No, here's the thing. The 30 creators from initial reports were basically all put on a call with Jen Paskey. They're 30 of the biggest creators in the news and current events space. Uh, so there's like Marcus Diopola, I believe was one of them, and a couple others. My fucking best friend, Marcus Diopola. Love that guy. Just absolutely love him. You can go on my TikTok and just see how much I love his zoomed in ugly face. I'm kidding. He's not ugly. But his zoomed in face. God. So it was like 30 creators who were basically put on a call with White House Press Secretary Jen Paskey, and she ran them down, basically gave them a White House briefing of sorts. Uh, that's basically what the press gets uh, every day. She ran them down what the whole spiel of what journalists get, and uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool because it was cool because the creators got to ask questions and get further clarification as to what was going on, and it was sort of this huge thing where they basically got their own version of a press conference, which... Not a lot of people can say that they have. I think the list of influencers that were actually briefed is confidential, and they're not really going out there and revealing that. I do have a feeling, though, under the desk, they were definitely invited, and Marcus Diopola as well. Uh, I have a feeling was also there and filling people in on what was going on. Look, basically, here's what I think of this whole situation. The White House just said, fuck you to mainstream media. They're like, dude... <laughs> Your information is fucking useless. We're just going to give it to a bunch of influencers and we're going to have that, have a little briefing for them too, because they realize, I think the white house is starting to realize that like mainstream media is no longer the only one reporting information about this, about the situations and stuff that's going on. And we need to have that. And there's actual discourse being had and actual conversations and messaging being delivered through TikTok. So we need to use this. The white house recognized even though Biden's almost 81 years old, something in his head told him the media is no longer just CNN. This is the new age. It's the new age. It's the new age, guys. This is where we're at when it comes to media. I'm pissed. I didn't get the invite. Personally, I'm pissed. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is a huge goal of mine now. Because now I know that Robinette Biden is giving out briefings to people. So it's time to gain some following. It's time to gain some followers. It's time to really go up here in the current events and news space because now I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, I might have an opportunity. If I gain enough followers, if I work hard enough, maybe I could be at that briefing and actually ask Jen Paskey and Biden the hard questions that I've wanted to ask for so long. It's been a goal. It's become a goal which is super cool to get into those briefings, to have enough clout to just be at these like influencer press conferences. Yeah, they may be dumbed down for the TikTokers, but whatever. I don't care. I don't care. That's so dope. And that's the thing. TikTok is the future. So whether you like it or not, social media journalism will continue to rise. This is just a huge event within the scoop of that. So they're going to have, and the thing is on social media, Yes. Is it an unproductive conversation a lot of the time? Absolutely. But is it more productive than what Don Lemon Drop and Andy Cooper doing on CNN? No. Yes, it is more productive because there's actually an active conversation being had and the media and the definition of the media is changing. So let's acknowledge that. Accept the TikTokers, embrace them and move on. Okay. All right. Let's move on. <laughs>